Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Lahu, also known as Laho or Injera, Lahu is a spongy and slightly fermented pancake made from a batter of flour, water, and yeast. It is often served with honey, ghee, clarified butter, or spicy sauces. Ahu is a spongy and slightly fermented pancake that originates from East African cuisine, particularly popular in countries like Somalia and Djibouti. It is made from a simple batter consisting of flour, water, and yeast. The preparation involves mixing these ingredients together to form a smooth, runny batter, which is then allowed to ferment for a short period, usually overnight or for a few hours. This fermentation process imparts a distinct tangy flavor and causes the pancake to rise and become airy. To cook lahu, a hot, flat griddle or pan is used. The batter is poured onto the surface, and it is cooked without flipping it over. As it cooks, bubbles form on the surface, giving the pancake its characteristic appearance. The result is a light, soft, and spongy texture that is slightly chewy. Lahu is often served as a breakfast dish or a snack, and it can be enjoyed in various ways. It is commonly served with honey, ghee, clarified butter, or spicy sauces to enhance its flavor. Due to its porous nature, it is excellent for soaking up the flavors of accompanying dishes, making it a perfect complement to stews and sauces. This versatile pancake is beloved in East African communities, and its popularity has spread to other regions due to its delicious taste and unique preparation. If you ever get a chance to try Lahu, I recommend giving it a taste to experience its delightful flavor and texture. Sambusa. Similar to samosas in other regions, sambusas are triangular pastries filled with spiced meat, usually beef or lamb, or vegetables. They are deep fried until crispy and are a popular snack. Sambusa, also known as samosa, is a popular savory pastry that has its roots in the Indian subcontinent but is enjoyed in various forms across different cultures and countries. It is a triangular or tetrahedral shaped pastry filled with a delicious mixture of spiced ingredients. Sambusas are typically deep fried or baked until they become crispy and golden brown. The filling of a sambusa can vary widely depending on regional preferences and individual recipes. However, some common fillings include vegetables, potatoes, peas, carrots, onions, and various spices are often combined to create a flavorful vegetable filling. Meat, minced meat, such as lamb, beef, chicken, or sometimes even fish, can be cooked with aromatic spices to make a meat-based sambusa filling. Lentils, a vegetarian option may include lentils as the main ingredient, seasoned with spices to provide a tasty filling. The dough used to make sambusas is usually made from all-purpose flour, water, oil, and a pinch of salt. It is rolled out into thin sheets, and then the filling is placed on one side. The dough is folded over the filling to form a triangular or tetrahedral shape, and the edges are sealed by pressing them together. Sambusas are then cooked until they are crispy and thoroughly cooked. Sambusas are not only enjoyed in India but are popular throughout South Asia the Middle East, and East Africa. They are commonly served as appetizers, snacks, or even as a part of a meal. In some regions, they are a popular street food item, while in others, they are served during special occasions, festivals, and celebrations. Due to their delicious taste and portable nature, sambusas have gained popularity worldwide and are cherished by people from diverse culinary backgrounds. Barbecued Meat Grilled meat, such as goat, camel, or chicken, is a common street food in Djibouti. The meat is seasoned with local spices and served with injera or bread. Barbecued meat, often referred to as barbecue, is a popular method of cooking meat over an open flame or heat source. It is a cooking technique that has been practiced for centuries in various cultures around the world. The process of barbecuing infuses the meat with smoky flavors and creates a tender and juicy texture that many people find irresistible. Here's a general overview of how barbecued meat is prepared. Selection of meat. Various types of meat can be used for barbecuing, including beef, pork, chicken, lamb, fish, and more. Different cuts and types of meat may require different cooking times and techniques. Marinade or rub. Before cooking. The meat is often marinated or coated with a dry rub to add flavor and tenderize it. 
Marinades typically consist of a mixture of oil, acid, such as vinegar or citrus juice, herbs, spices, and sometimes sweeteners. Dry rubs are made of a blend of spices and herbs applied directly to the meat surface. Barbecue equipment. Traditional barbecues use charcoal, wood, or a combination of both as the heat source. Gas grills are also commonly used, which offer a convenient and consistent heat source. The type of equipment used can influence the flavor profile of the barbecued meat. Cooking process. The meat is placed on the grill or barbecue, and it cooks slowly over low to moderate heat. The use of wood chips or chunks can further enhance the smoky flavor. The cooking process can take several hours, especially for larger cuts of meat, as the slow cooking allows the flavors to develop, and the connective tissues in the meat break down, resulting in a tender texture. Basting and sauce. Some cooks like to baste the meat with marinade or sauce during the cooking process to keep it moist and add extra flavor. Additionally, barbecued meat is often served with a variety of barbecue sauces on the side, which can range from sweet and tangy to spicy and smoky. Resting. After the meat is fully cooked, it's essential to let it rest for a few minutes before serving. Resting allows the juices to redistribute throughout the meat ensuring it stays moist and tender. Barbecued meat is a beloved dish in many cultures and regions, often associated with social gatherings, outdoor events, and summertime cookouts. It's a versatile and delicious way to enjoy a wide range of meats with a unique and smoky flavor that delights taste buds. Lahu Burger, a unique fusion of Western and Jabushan flavors, Lahu Burgers feature a patty made from spiced ground meat, served with lettuce, onions, and sauce within a lahu wrap. Lahu burger. It sounds like a delightful fusion that combines the traditional flavors of Jabushan cuisine with the familiar elements of a western burger. The spiced ground meat patty adds a savory and flavorful twist to the burger, and the use of lahu as the wrap brings a unique and slightly tangy taste to the overall experience. The addition of lettuce, onions, and sauce complements the patty and adds texture and additional flavors to the dish. This creative fusion of ingredients and cultural influences highlights how cuisines can come together to create exciting and delicious new dishes. The Lahu Burger is likely to be a treat for those seeking a blend of familiar and exotic flavors in a single dish. If you ever have the opportunity to try a Lahu Burger, it's sure to be a memorable culinary adventure. Direk, a type of pancake made from rice flour, sometimes flavored with coconut milk or spices, and served as a snack or dessert. Direk, it sounds like a delicious and unique pancake made from rice flour, often enjoyed as a snack or dessert. Based on the information provided, Direk, appears to be a regional or cultural specialty, likely originating from a specific cuisine or country. The use of rice flour as the main ingredient gives the pancake a distinct texture and flavor compared to traditional wheat flour pancakes. The inclusion of coconut milk or spices in the batter adds extra richness and aromatic elements to the direct, enhancing its overall taste profile. Depending on the specific recipe and cultural influences, the spices used may vary, potentially offering a range of delightful flavor combinations. In many cultures, pancakes are beloved treats enjoyed in various ways, and direct seems to be a unique addition to the pancake family. As a snack or dessert, it's likely to be a delightful option for those with a preference for rice-based delicacies or those looking to explore new and exciting flavors. If you ever get the opportunity to try direct, it could be a wonderful culinary experience that introduces you to the flavors and traditions of its cultural origins.